Hey, Pagnacci here with episode 12 of our Fall 2 playthrough. I had high hopes for this place, but the first guy I see tells me to visit the cat's paw. Where there is hot booty, cold booty, fresh booty and <sniffs> smelly booty. Great stuff. Great stuff you got there, stranger, but I'd rather stay clean. This place reminds me a lot of a place we have already been before. I think it was the den. They even got a casino here too. Desperado? A cozy little place. <laughs> Look what my guy says when I click on the one armed bandit. You see a strange golden metal box with three eyes and one arm. It is one of the prettiest things you have ever seen. What a great observation. Let's see if we can find someone who could tell us a little bit about this place. <gasps> Something you want, amigo. Amigo? I am clearly not your amigo. Amigo, who the heck are you? Me? If you gonna ask, <laughs> name's Jesus. Jesus? Jesus Mordino. Same as my dad. What? Same as his dad? He's the big Jesus. Alright, who the heck calls his son Jesus, while the own name's Jesus too? Must be clearly someone with air in the head. So, my amigo Jesus here told me that he has a job for me, but I have to do this job for his family, you know, or more like in the name of his family. Of course, when the job's done, I will stand in favor for this family, but there are more than only the Mordinos here in New Reno. There are more than a few families around here, and they don't like each other very well. So, in conclusion, when I do something good for one family, the others might want to kill me. So that means I should watch out what I do around here. Little Jesus told me I have to meet Big Jesus to get this job. I don't know why, but Big Jesus reminds me a little bit of Wick. Uh, I just can't tell why. <laughs> don't know why or how, but we are now in the desert. Just a second ago, Big Jesus Wick lookalike told me to deliver a package to someone. And now suddenly we are here. Great. Looks like they are holding slaves here and by their expressions I guess they don't feel so great. But why the heck would they care? We are here in nowhere, in, in the desert. Oh look, a bunch of scientists. I wonder what they do here in the middle of the desert. After a while talking to the scientists, I found out that they are producing a drug called Jet here. You know Jet, the stuff that do good but might be addictive. They even do experiments on slaves and prostitutes to improve their drug. That's sick. They also told me that the guy who created Jet is right here, at this place, in the basement. There he is. Alright you little dipshit, let's see what you got. Who are you? And how the hell did you get in here? Ooh, those jackass guards. <laughs> what? How old is this guy? Are you for real? That 12 year old baby face is the ultimate evil that tortures slaves and prostitutes with passion. Maybe. Jet motherfucker, jet. You're talking to its maker, its creator, its god. <gasps> Looks like he wants to be my companion, but I am already at my follower's limit. I thought maybe I'll take him with me, you know, so I can push him from a cliff or something. But not too high a cliff, so he survives and endures massive pain before he dies. I think since I like Salik a lot and Cassidy is a cool guy, I'll say goodbye to Vic. Goodbye Vic. Let's blow this popsicle stand. It's 186 miles to Arroyo. We got a full fusion cell, half a pack of right away. It's midnight and I'm wearing a 50 year old Walt 13 jumpsuit. Let's hit it. Uh, what were we here for in the first place? Oh right, we have to deliver a package to someone. God damn, this place is huge. Finally, we found the guy. Here's your package, amigo. Have fun. I guess since we are done here, we can leave this place, finally. Weren't that far away from New Reno, I guess. Okay, Big G, I've done the job you've asked for. But Big G, do you know what they do there? They are torturing slaves with drugs. Squints angrily, a bait of sweat trickles down. They are cattle, no more. Holy shit, judging by this man's actions, I don't think the name Big Jesus fits a person like that. Real Jesus would not approve, I think. 
Anyway, we got a little bit of cash and now we are good to go. I won't do any more favors for a sick pig like that. Oh look what we have found here. They are doing a movie with a lot of women and a bed and, and stuff. <laughs> cool. One thing, one thing I always wanted to be, a professional boxer. Now the opportunity is mine. I can finally show the world out there how good a boxer I can be. They would call me a uh, mad dog, mad dog. And, and here we go, first round. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's match is brought to you by EA Sports. It's in the game. Here we go now, for real. Myron uses jet. Why would you do that, kid? It ain't even a real fight. And we land the first hit right in the head. Seems like our opponent isn't that weak after all. Who is this guy anyway? He looks strange. Kill him, mad dog! I guess I use my ultimate strategy to bring this fight to an end fast. I'll just run away, let him come by, hit him and again run away. Repeat it and you win for sure. That's how Vladimir Klitschko won all his fights. Great guy. Enough playing around, we were searching for some parts for a quest to repair the air purifier in Broken Hills. And here we go, this guy gave us the parts we were looking for. And now we can go back to Broken Hills and get this quest done. You got the parts? Great! I hope you've got some protective gear. The fumes can take you down. I'm ready to go. Use the parts on the air purifier to repair it. Boom, done. We got 1500 experience points. Great. Next Something quest. You wanted. Great news, guys. Too big guy people. Marcus wants to follow us. Since we are too big of a group, I have to kick Myron out of oh, the... Are you fucking serious? Whoa, whoa, hey, hey. You keep me around, I'll do you a favor. Huh? Well, what do you say? Nope. Thanks. Goodbye. You want me to come along with you? Yep, let's go. Oh, what the hell? I'm too old to settle down. We going now? Oh man, I can't believe it. This is the first time we got a super mutant in our group. And he looks aggressive with his minigun. Oh. I think this episode goes long enough now. Next time we will go for the gag, I promise. Before I end this video, I want to thank you guys for your lovely support on these videos. I love all your comments. And a very, very big thank you to my very first Patreon supporter, Robert Lindsay. I really did not expect anyone to support me this way on Patreon. If you want to see my Patreon site, follow this link. And as always, like, favorite and subscribe. And I see you next time for more Fallout 2. Goodbye.